wow it has been so long since i've filmed a vlog so i thought now is the time to come back on and do it and i have a good excuse because this little madam arrived and i'm just adjusting to life as being a mummy of four so she is three weeks yeah she's three weeks at the minute so nearly a month and i'm not ready to show her off yet but i was just gonna come on and just talk about how the pregnancy went because i found this one was quite not not difficult but it was um it was actually it was difficult for me um i was on a lot of medication i had a lot of pain really early on like pelvic girdle pain um and it was still slightly there after birth but the health visitor and midwife said that's quite normal um i'm getting back to my old self um i also had a high blood pressure so i was under um the hypertension team um but during the pregnancy i had to check my blood pressure weekly just to stay on top of it and it was it was good the consultant i was under a consultant as well uh, they was happy with the care um but i was put on medication just in case the blood pressure went high or anything happened at birth just to reduce the risk so i was on aspirin i had to take like two a day up until 36 weeks i had really really bad um heartburn i've never felt heartburn like it it was so bad so as well as being on or as well as taking gaviscon i was also prescribed i think it's called on promazole i think that's what it's called and it's a tablet but it is the best it literally it worked wonders it stopped my heartburn and it was absolutely amazing and then i had to take vitamin d from the start all the way to the end of the pregnancy and then other multi vitamins such as preglicare and i was also on oh i can't even remember there was so much so i was on like um medication for the heartburn vitamin d pregnacare aspirin gaviscon had to check my blood pressure um weekly and then um i was having extra scans with the baby because um because of my blood pressure they wasn't sure and they wanted to check her growth and everything and then most scans all was fine and then at my 36 week scan that i had um the son the sonographer found some extra fluid around baby um which indicated that i may have gestational diabetes but i questioned it because you know you have the glucose test at 28 weeks and they didn't pick anything up so obviously i was fine at that point um and then when i spoke to the midwife they had to f um had to speak to like the gestational diabetes midwife um they said it's not that it's better to have it at 36 weeks but because i'm so far into the pregnancy and nearly giving birth there's a lower risk to the baby um and to myself and that i may have just got it so what i had to do i had to like do my blood sugars four times a day and it was very high uh the first few readings so i had to change my diet i had to like have um brown food such as like brown rice brown pasta brown bread and just change my complete diet to have the levels um be lower and to make sure baby was okay so i had to do that for the last couple of weeks and because of with gestational diabetes there's always a risk of um baby having too much sugar and could potentially be quite big um it was then decided that i would be 
induced so my original due date was the 20th of april and they induced me at 39 weeks um i would have rather labor have started naturally because i've heard so many stories that induction is extremely painful but i had to think of my health and baby's health so i went in on uh thursday the 13th of april and when i went in we had the suite to ourselves actually because the junior doctors was on strike so um yeah we had this suite for myself and um they checked me and they said because i was already dilating and having contractions not very painful contractions they couldn't induce me because if they use the pessary what they um used uh, used to induce you it could speed things up too fast and i wouldn't get a break so what they done was they just monitored me over 24 hours and i had two sweeps to see if that would help um it didn't it didn't help it was just very painful so on the Friday morning, early hours of the morning, they checked me and said that um, I was able to have my waters broken. I was a bit nervous because I thought as soon as my waters are broken, that's it. It's just going to be super fast. I'm not going to get a break. It's going to be painful. And boy, I was not wrong. So they broke my waters on Friday the 14th of April at 6.15 in the morning. Within like 15, 20 minutes, my contractions started and they were super, super intense. It was, I just weren't getting a break. Um, it was painful. So people are right. I suppose because it started artificially, it's more painful. And I was in absolute agony. And as much as I wanted to follow my birth plan and go natural like i did last time with immy i went completely natural i didn't have no pain relief and i didn't like the gas and air i couldn't do it this time i was i was in too much pain like the pain i couldn't i couldn't even describe the pain like with imogen i could manage but this time it was just i managed for about four to five hours and i just i couldn't manage anymore it was way too much it was super intense and i just didn't get a break in between i didn't have a chance for them to build up so um yeah i opted for epidural and um i managed to get a bit of a break although you can still like feel the pain but not as much it's okay Baba. it's okay yeah i just opted for it and at the end of the day you know you don't get a a medal or award for going natural or having epidural cesarean as long as um baby's safe and arrives healthily and you know mum's safe that's all that matters and then this little princess arrived at 4.09 p.m. on Friday the 14th of April and she's an absolute dream. She looks like Imogen. I keep calling her Imogen by accident. I don't know if it's because I'm so used to calling Imogen's name all the time or what. But she's a dream and the kids absolutely adore her. She is fitted in so well. She is a, a gem. She's such a good baby. And I can't complain, like, she's a blessing. I wanted a fourth for so long. And now I've got my princess, my fourth princess. Um, I was a bit concerned at first about how Imogen would be with a new baby because she hasn't really been exposed to, to newborns. And although she understands some things but can't verbally tell us, I didn't know how she would be, but um like her her speech focus made her um her speech focus made her a communication book and it's got things in there um about the baby i haven't even got it to hand otherwise i would have shown you it's got things in there about mummy feeding the baby and sometimes baby cries and it can be loud and Imi's a big sister so on and so forth so she points it out to communicate with us but do you know what she 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 like she goes mine and she wants to hold baby all the time and take pictures of with her. And she says cheese and she likes stroking her head and giving her a kiss. And it's just, it's beautiful to watch. Uh, Maya's like a second mummy. She wants to do everything. Jaden's obsessed with her. They're all like 
really obsessed with her and it's nice to see how uh jay and maya are with the baby because when i had imogen they was they was a lot younger they was like um six and eight um so they didn't really pay too much attention but now oh they're just in awe of her maya wants to feed her all the time she wants to hold her give her kisses hey they just love their sister so yeah um i will start now that i'm settled i will start to vlog again um but i just needed time to adjust um but i've thrown myself back into things really um and yeah we will do we will be doing some more vlogs now that we are settled and in a routine so yeah that's why i haven't vlogged for a while but good excuse good excuse um but thanks for tuning in and to everyone that subscribes to our channel thanks for sticking around and um yes i'm not sure what vlogs we're gonna do next but maybe i know i've got an ehcp one to do regarding Emmy. maybe i'll do a morning routine now that baby's here um because our routine is it's still the same but the only difference is is um i'm lacking sleep i'm getting limited sleep but that's enough of me waffling on i'll definitely be vlogging more thanks for tuning in and yeah at some point when i'm ready to show this little baby's face i will but i'm just embracing her and her first few weeks and i cannot believe she is coming up to a month it flies it goes so quick but please if you don't already subscribe to our channel and like our posts and turn that notification on to stay tuned and we'll see you in the next video bye guys